At a time when we're all concerned about COVID-19 and sharing common spaces, you'll be happy to know that the risk of riding an elevator is lower than you might think. How do we know? We're Otis, and we're committed to providing you with the information you need. So we commissioned a scientific study to get the answers, answers backed by research, facts, and data. We turned to one of the world's leading experts in how infectious diseases spread through indoor air systems and how to prevent it. Dr. Yan Chen of Purdue University and his team use the latest computer modeling techniques. Along with what we already know about elevator systems, the average elevator ride is short, typically less than one minute. It turns out that air circulation within the elevator is key. Elevators have high air exchange rates by design. The more ventilation in the elevator, the lower the risk. Proper mask wearing by all passengers also cuts the relative risk in half. And an air purification method called needlepoint bipolar ionization can reduce risk by 20 to 30%. When used together, the result is a total reduction in risk of 60 to 65%. The science is clear. A short elevator ride where all riders properly wear masks is relatively low risk compared to many other everyday activities. This study and its findings are just a part of our commitment to keeping you informed and providing science-based answers and guidance throughout the pandemic and into the future. Visit us at otis.com to learn more and access the full study results.